Welcome to Hidden Gems in Nature. Today our destination is this Talus Tunnel. It's down in a slot canyon in the Superstition Mountains. It's a, kind of a rugged hike. In fact, along the way there's been some carabiners and other technical equipment. So some people come in here with technical equipment. We just kind of rock hopped our way down here. You'll see that in the video. Um, you want to be a little bit nimble to make this hike because there's no trail. It's all bushwhacking and cross country. Join us as we explore and discover the hidden gems along this trail down into this Talus Tunnel. At Hidden Gems of Nature, I don't tell you what the destination is. Instead, I give you clues so you can explore and discover these hidden gems or your own hidden gems. So watch carefully as we identify clues to find these destinations. And remember, subscribe to Hidden Gems of Nature YouTube channel. Welcome to Hidden Gems of Nature. We're on our way to the Superstition Mountains. We're heading east on Highway 60. We're going to ex exit into Apache Junction and head to the north side of the Superstition Mountains. So we're heading north in Apache Junction. Turn right and head uh, towards the Superstition Mountains. We're leaving the lake that we just passed and heading and continuing forward to our trailhead. This is the last sign of civilization gives us here. Oh, there it is right there. I passed it. I've only been in here twice and even I passed the spot. This is where we're parking, right here. Welcome to Hidden Gems of Nature. This is not a trailhead. This is just a parking lot on the side of the road. If you can see down behind me, just over my shoulder here, is the canyon that we're going to hike in today. Uh, if you looked on a map, there's no name for this canyon. So we're hiking in a nameless canyon today, but it's a really cool uh, hike. We just have to bushwhack to get down to it. So I got my bushwhacking pants on with these chaps. And, and it's very important to see what you see in this video. So I'm going to have him pan to my left just a little bit. And you're going to see a canyon that intersects into the canyon behind me. It just comes in perpendicular to the canyon behind me. The reason you need to know this is because we're dropping into a slot canyon, you have to rappel down into the bottom of this canyon except for one spot. And the one spot that you can get into this canyon without rappelling is opposite that side canyon that's coming in. So opposite the side canyon on the right side is how you get down into the canyon. So we've just started the hike and um, we've just come down the rim like, you know, 20 yards. But I want you to see how steep this is as we come down into the canyon. And of course, here's the canyon opposite. And the place where we come down is to the right side of this, this canyon. You just kind of, you look for it when you're down there because there's no trail. And you can see my son-in-law, he's kind of jumping rocks down the mountain. This is bushwhacking. Um, it's not a hard hike as far as distance goes. Uh, maybe the total we'll go today is three miles. But what is hard about this hike is you got to be pretty sure-footed because you're route finding the whole way. Here's the canyon opposite the canyon we're hiking in and we're just opposite I told you you need to come down to the right side of that canyon and we're directly opposite and so we can't get down here it's about a 30 40 foot drop into the canyon but if you look to my right there it is that's how you get down into the canyon right there so we're gonna go back up the mountain just a little ways and come around to the right this is a scramble. Um, I just go down like it's a ladder backwards. I didn't used to. The first time I went down, I just hopped down this thing, but that was like 12 years ago. But uh, this is. You can just scoot down this thing. There's a cairn that marks the best way up. We didn't come down the best way down or up, we came down another shot, uh, another slot. But this one works too. 
and then you're in. That's the only way in without rappelling. Okay, so we're in the bottom of the canyon now. To the left is the canyon that, perpen that comes in perpendicular to us, but if I remember this canyon right, we want to go to the left. You can only go back here about 100 yards, maybe 200 yards, but it's really cool. It's the, really the start of the, of the slot canyon. And so I like going up here. The first time I came in here, uh, this was all full of water. And so I'm walking right now in a section that was literally underwater. And my son-in-law, who's up above us, He's walking where we had to walk the first time. Uh, yep, there's a lot of water. This is why I didn't go any further last time. What's cool is there used to be a tree growing out of the rock. So we just jumped. You saw my son just jump across that little narrow neck. The neck comes around. And what did we come to? Another big pool of water. So, it's amazing how we haven't had much rain this year. Everything else has dried up, but these pools with this rock base in them. Down in this canyon, there's a big talus cave about 100 yards long. It's really cool, but there's a bunch of rocks that you can crawl underneath. We're going to see one right from the start. And my son-in-law is handling the camera, and we're just going to go right down. Nope, we're not going to go through it, are we? Well, so much for that one. I was going to show you what they're like. There's a bunch of these, but this one's a little too deep for us to do. I'll have my, my son-in-law can kind of scan down into that hole. You can see how deep it really is. So if you're 10 feet tall, have fun. Otherwise, we're going to go around. Backed up with rocks last time? No, no. This had water in it last time. So we couldn't go through if we wanted to. So that's the hole we were going to try and come through. And we're not. Mm -hmm. I took a group of boys on a hike into this canyon, and one of the boys, prior to the hike, kept saying he didn't want to go on a hike. I told him we weren't going on a hike. We were just going to drop down into a slot canyon and play on some of the rock formations in the bottom of the canyon. So we did that. They saw the rock formations, and we moved further down the canyon and saw more rock formations and more passages to crawl through and more boulders to climb. The more excited they got to go down the canyon. We arrived at the Talus Tunnel, and they thought the Talus Tunnel was super cool too. And when we were done, we hiked back up and got out of the canyon. And the first thing the boy said to me when we got out of the canyon was, thanks for just letting us play today and not go on a hike. Kids are funny. He had no idea he'd hiked two and a half miles. All the kids I bring down into this canyon love this rock for obvious reasons. And so they have their name for it and they make fun of it. Everybody has to sit in it and everybody has to get a picture of it so they can show their parents. Oh, is that another way down in? Because of the flash floods, the bottom of this canyon changes. And my son-in-law found a little place to go down into. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go out the other side. So he, he's going in this side, and we're going to come around and he'll come out this side. come to a dead end we're gonna have to work our way around to the right because that's pretty steep oh, yeah. kind of cool looking though look at that narrow through there so we're gonna work our way back can you get through that way This is where we stopped last time. That hole to your right was full of water. Be 
Caribbean rock. And here so we can repel down. Oh wow. Passable? Yeah. Are you sure? Or can you come back through and down? Can you drop into that hole? We finally made it to our destination. This is a really cool talus tunnel. We're going to walk through it and then we're going to loop hike back. We're not going to go back the same way we came, so we'll get a little bit more footage of the video. But this is our destination. You can turn around and go back. We're only probably a mile down the slot canyon, um, but it does take a while because as you can see from the video, we've had to climb up and over and down and under all kinds of rocks in different formations. But enjoy this hike. It's a, it's a beautiful slot canyon. This is about the end of the slot canyon, the last really narrow section and the last water. After you head around this corner down here, you've got one or two hundred yards before it begins to open up and then you've probably got another three quarters of a mile before you get to the road. The slot canyon's probably a mile and a half, but it's really a cool hike as you can see from all the rock formations and all the different passages you have to go through to make it through this canyon. If you're going to go on the hike in this canyon, you want to be a little bit nimble and ready for quite a bit of boulder climbing and rock hopping. This is the road, and we're down in the wash below the road. There's the water tunnel that goes under the road. So you can either go in this route, or you can come in the way we came in and come out this way and then we'll just hike up the road to our car. Those two big monoliths are great landmarks from the road. You can kind of use those as landmarks as you come out of the slot canyon and come around where it opens up. Have a great hike. <laughs>